Okay friends, if I look a little confused right now, it's because I am. This thread up box has come from Pennsylvania. I never get my boxes from Pennsylvania. My boxes always come from Arizona. I live in California, Arizona's closer. I always get Arizona boxes. I usually get really amazing boxes. I've had friends on the channel ask me like, how do you get such amazing boxes? Or how do you get boxes from Arizona? The boxes from Arizona seem better. Mine always come from Pennsylvania. And I'm like, it's just geography. I live in California. They send them to me from Arizona. So now if I'm honest, I'm feeling a little bit nervous about this thread up rescue box, mixed clothing women's box. It's $60 plus $5.99 shipping. So we're gonna dive into this box and see how I do. If you like thread up unboxings, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I have an entire playlist of thread up rescue box unboxing videos. I do an honest review and I show you what I got. I buy this stuff to resell online on eBay and Poshmark. I'm a part-time reseller. I'm a full-time psychotherapist. I have another channel called The Grateful Therapist. I'm almost to 1K on that channel, so I'd love it if you go over there and subscribe to that channel. Do you think my winning streak on ThreadUp is gonna be over with this box? Because I've been so blessed by the boxes I get from ThreadUp and they're from Arizona and so I don't know. Let's bust into this box, box, box. Yes friends, stay till the end of the video so that you can watch all the bloopers as I try and make videos on YouTube and haul things and unbox things and have very little idea when I'm doing most of the time. Okay, so you saw when I opened the box what it looks like. Let's see what we have in here. I love mystery boxes. These are cute. I'm not familiar with this brand though, AYR. I will show you tags. It does take my camera just a minute to focus, but it's usually pretty good. I've not heard of this brand. I can tell you that these look pretty distressed. They're a size 25. If I learn something about this brand or other brands or comps, what they might sell for for me online, I'll pop stuff up on the screen. I'll make a little click click or a little money sound or something so you know to look. These look cool. They're a dark wash skinny jean with a high rise. They do have a hole here, so I'm gonna assume that's a DIY. And they have a little bit of fading in the seat. If you are a newer reseller and you're learning to buy things for resale, with denim, always check like the seat, look at the inner thigh for stretching because the value of the jeans goes way down if there's a lot of wear. All right, this looks like some type of long sweater dress. It's like a turtleneck sweater dress, but it looks like maybe it draws up at the waist and it has like a pencil skirt. And the brand on this one is Ann Taylor, size small. Um, sweater dresses actually do very well for me, but I'm filming this in April. No, it's May. It's May 2021, so spring, summer is what I'm looking for, but um, sweater dresses do do well for me. I think people like sweater dresses. What the heck is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, this is unbranded, and it is a little top. Um, and it has like a fringe and crochet. Three items, I'm not super impressed with this box. I'm worried. <laughs> Keep it moving on. Mystery boxes are always a risk. And this is another top that seems to be unbranded, meaning there's no tag. Maybe someone cut the tag out. Now from a reselling perspective, it's very hard to sell things that have no tag. You can still list it. You can use keywords so that people can maybe find your item. Like this is a women's fuchsia silk top, but if it has no brand and no size, it is hard from the reseller's perspective. Oh gosh, I'm not feeling good about this, you guys. This is a Banana Republic tank top, size small, but it's just like a black slub cotton top. I will let you know if I see any kind of flaws. That's nice, and Banana Republic can sell, um, but a very simple tank top, I mean, I can probably get like 10 bucks. They just shove the clothes. Oops, I'm knocking the camera. 
They just shove the clothes in here, friends. Like, this is actually like all, let me see if I can. This is all bunched up, rolled up in a way that's making it very difficult to get in here. Okay, let's just keep moving along and see how we do. Keep it positive. Oh, wow, this is actually really nice. Wow, out of season, but nice. This is a great a J. Crew jacket. Did you guys see the video I made recently that was like my 10 best selling brands? So I looked into my analytics on eBay and Posh and just looked at what brands are selling the most consistently for me. J. Crew is definitely on this list. This is really nice. It's like a hooded um, cargo jacket. I wonder if there's any flaws. It's navy blue. Looks like it just needs a little like clean up. That's actually really nice. This probably won't sell now, this time of year. Let me move this camera over a little bit so we can try a little bit of a different angle. Let's see how we do with that. Um, yeah, that'll probably sell like in the fall, but you know what? It'll be here before we know it. Uh, this is a dress by Ellie Tahari, which is nice. I always get my Taharis mixed up. There's Tahari and then there's Ellie Tahari. I believe this is the one that is more expensive. This is a really beautiful item. It's a dress, it's black and white, and it's a midi, so it comes down kind of mid-calf. But look at it, it has these kind of like mesh panels and things. Uh, size, I'm looking just in case anyone's like, I have to have that dress, size US 2. Guess what, friends, though? Dresses are selling again. 2020, with the pandemic, there were so many things that normally sell well for me and just did not. Dresses did not sell for me, but now they're starting to sell. Um, so that's exciting. I think people are, more people are vaccinated. People are getting out into the community again, going to events, going to restaurants. I know I did a lot of shopping for myself to update my spring wardrobe. This has got a really pretty print. This is Banana Republic which is great and fine, but it's a size zero, zero petite. So that is a hard sell, but it's got a really cute print, just kind of a fit and flare, beautiful dress there. This looks like another sweater type item. I'm getting like the fall box, but you know what? It's May, it's spring. I'm listing swimsuits and sandals and dresses, but it'll be a short season. And then, you know, when I make videos come like July, August, I'm gonna be talking about fall stuff. I have so much inventory that I'll probably sort it and things that um, I, I'll sort, what am I trying to say here? Something. I'll probably sort it and put like list in the fall on a couple of bins. Friends, I'm moving in close here for a minute just to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of unboxing videos. I do a live every Friday night. There's a ton of encouragement and support for resellers here on the channel, and we'd love for you to join us. Please do make sure to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Mm -mm, don't know why I'm doing this. Oh my gosh, this is my favorite brand. I've never seen a piece like this. So this is We The Free. They have so many different tags, but this is one of them. We The Free is a free people brand. And this is definitely oversized. I'm trying to, it's a medium, so that's good. Um, this is like a thermal, I'm gonna have to find a stock photo. This is like a gray thermal, but then attached to it, is this like white shirt bottom. So it's like a cool layering piece. I am noticing there's a little um, cut here on the collar. So I will have to list that if I don't keep it myself. It's my favorite personal brand and it also made it onto my best selling brands list. I've been selling so much free people. I know some people say that it doesn't sell that well for them. It retails pretty high at stores like Macy's, sometimes at Anthropology. It is my, one of my best selling brands on both Poshmark and eBay. This feels awesome. Whatever this is feels really nice. Intermix, I am not familiar. It's a black tag, so it might be, it's a black on black, a black tag and it says intermix. So I'll let you know, what is this? That's, whatever it is I think might be damaged. Oh, it's a jumpsuit. So this is a one piece and it's very confusing because there's all these cutouts or something and it goes down to long pants. I don't know, but I but I but it looks ripped, okay? So remember, this is a ThreadUp DIY box. Things end up in these boxes because ThreadUp's not gonna take them and sell them on their site because they're damaged or 
there's all sorts of reasons things end up, but I always manage my expectations. But this is ripped, like I can see the rip, but I can't tell exactly what's going on with this piece. Um, I am not super good at fixing flaws. Let me know in the comments if you are. I made an Instagram post recently where it's like, reminding people to do their quality control if they're at the thrift store, hold items up, look for holes and stains and stretching and pulls because it's very expensive as a reseller to buy these items and bring them home. Some people are probably good at mending things, cleaning things up, repairing them. Are you? Let me know in the comments. For me, I say, oh, I'll fix it. And then it sits like in a death pile for too long. So, so far so good. I'd say so far mediocre box. I got J. Crew. I got free people. The J. Crew jacket, yes, pretty good, but not like one of my amazing ones so far. This is cute. This is like a knit sweatery top and please have a brand on it somewhere. See how it's like got some open crochet details. It kind of looks like it could be a free people type piece, but I'm pulling it inside out and there's no brand. Ugh. I've seen people get boxes like this before where they're struggling. Now I still will sell stuff. Like I'm not gonna get rid of that. So I will still sell an unbranded piece that has no tag and I'll use keywords. So like for this, I would put like women's size, small crochet knit tank, festival, boho, um, all those kinds of things and I'll try and sell it based on style. Here's another one. This one is like, these are kind of popular for young girls like going to concerts and festivals and things in the summer. Again, I don't see a brand. This is like a, a bright pink, really cute, but mm, no brand. I want my Arizona boxes back. <laughs> this is, oh, okay, let me see. This is JOA Los Angeles. I know this is sold at Nordstrom and Nordstrom Rack. This is cute. It is a women's halter top. So the straps are so long, it'll tie around the neck. Oh, actually, I think it's more complicated than that. It's a pretty floral printed blouse. And then there's these holes. So somehow this long strap must go over the back and cross and go in those little holes and tie up or something. I don't know, I can't, I'm 45 years old. I cannot deal with very complicated pieces of clothing anymore, can you? Alrighty, now we have a 7th Avenue Design Studio, New York and Company, like a women's black sweater with this interesting neckline. I don't think that's anything too exciting. Have you watched my last thread up box? I think the title on that one was like my best thread up box ever. So I'm not gonna complain, I love thread up. It's a great way to get inventory shipped right to my door. You know, 25 pieces of inventory for 60 bucks. Okay, another tricky piece here. Oh, this is really good actually. Ah, spoke too soon. Everlane, Everlane is such a great brand. Unfortunately, this is a double zero, but this is a fantastic brand, men's and women's. And I think this is a true wrap dress. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. So it goes like this and then it's got a tie and it, it's a true wrap. So it's not like sewed up. You actually use the tie and true wrap dresses like the classic Diane Von Furstenberg wrap dress. They sell great wrap dresses. More skirts for me, Talbot size two, petite, um, navy blue career skirt. I have so many of these. I get tons of them in my thread up boxes. They do not really move for me. What's this gorgeous thing? Look at this. This is heavy, heavy too. Wow. Wowzer. Look at all that detail. What could this be? It's JS collection size eight. I do not know this tag. Um, looks like a tacked on tag that could be promising. Um, if I learn anything about this, maybe I will pop it up on the screen for you. Do you think people will be wearing formal dresses again? Like you could get invited to a wedding. Are they going to have graduations this year? I don't know, but a really gorgeous, um, long, I'd say formal dress with lace and kind of this crochet embellished details looks to be in good shape. Maybe that'll be a good brand. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of black stuff. This is another 7th Avenue Design Studio, a black sweater, but this one has a wrap front. I'm not familiar with this brand, but that's actually really cute. So this is a faux wrap because it has a wrap 
front, but it's sewed together, so it doesn't have the tie. This feels amazing. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a gorgeous dress. I'm thinking it might be silk. Another Ellie Tahari. This is a dry cleaning tag, so that's, you know, often if something is more expensive, people will pay to have it dry cleaned. There's the Ellie Tahari. So this is the higher end brand of Tahari. Focus, focus, what am I doing wrong with my camera? There we go. Um, this is a silk. Uh, dress with some pleating at the cuffs there. It's like a black and blue. It's lined. Alrighty, another dress. This, oh my gosh, I'm changing my mind about this box. This is Reformation. Memorize this tag. This is a bolo. Um, it's sold at places like Revolve, so it's very trendy. I've only got one other piece by Reformation. It was in a thread up box, but it was just a tank. So I don't think that's gonna sell for a lot. This is a wrap dress. It has this high neck and then it wraps around. It looks kind of teeny tiny, so. Yeah, Reformation. Yeah. How are we doing so far with the box? Let's do a little bit of a different angle. Maybe it'll be like interesting to have different angles. I don't know, a little closer up. Don't know, this feels cool. Um, Jen, size small, but it's got a Euro size 38. J, J E N N period? I don't know, I'm gonna look this up, but I have a feeling it could be something good. It's got an interesting tag. Might be hard to find just J E N N. It's a boxy mesh top. And it's got a side zipper, so the quality on this is very good. Um, so I would put Jen, women's size, small, boxy, plaid, top with a side zipper. Using my keywords, guys. It's so important to have good keywords in your title and your description online because that is how people find your items. I do my title the same way all the time. I put the name brand, who it's for, and the size. So I'll say J. Crew women's large top and then as many descriptive keywords as I can. This feels nice. A glow, size large, I don't know. A glow, anyone heard of it? It's, I might give this to my mom. It's just like that nice like cotton um, tunic style and then it's got like a um, a... Why can't I talk? I know these words. It has like a chiffon trim, so it has a kind of layering look. There's a lot of black in this box. Reformation, J. Crew, Free People, and some dresses that I have to look up. So far, so good. Look at this. I don't know. Sync Accept. Okay, does anyone know this? Looks like an interesting tag. Sync Accept. Um, Let's like get that to focus. And then it also has the number, so five and seven. So, and it has a, still has this plastic hang tag, so it might be new without tags. I'm just trying to figure it out for you because it's a little confusing. This is the box of like confusing garments. Like I don't understand what this thing is doing. Is there a missing strap? What? All right, I have no idea, you guys. Like I'll try and put this on a mannequin. It's some sort of tank top that's off the shoulder with a lace trim and it's gorgeous and that looks like an interesting tag so maybe okay guys we're getting down to it thanks for staying with me this feels like linen my absolute favorite brand no it's not a brand let me try that again it's linen my absolute favorite okay one more time it's linen my absolute favorite fabric try saying that at home my absolute favorite fabric Okay, this, another Reformation piece. Oh my God. So like, I'd say a solid box with a few bolos. And this is so good, you guys. You're not gonna believe it. Reformation, it's a linen jumpsuit. Like you can't get any better than this. Black linen with buttons down. Oh, I wish this would fit me, but it absolutely looks small. And some smocking in the back. Amazing, two Reformation pieces, come on. That'll pay for the box. The box is 65 bucks. So if I could sell, I don't know the comps quite yet, but if I could sell those for 40 bucks, a dress or a jumpsuit, even with fees and everything, the box should be paid for. Thank you, thank you. Something new with tags called Dear Apple Fabric Clothing, $52 Dear Apple Tunic Color Blue. 
Ooh, this is pretty. This is like that um, cobalt blue. Ooh, a high, low, swingy. New with tags. I'll take it. I think that was my only new with tags. And this is cool, whatever it is, because it's tie dye in 2021. We're still going to see a lot of tie dye. But this is um, Gracia Fashion. So I have a feeling this is just like boutique or nothing too cool, but it'll still sell because of the style. It's a jumpsuit and it's tie dye. And it's really teeny. So my guess is it's like a junior brand. So what do you guys think of that box? My assessment of the box is solid box things that'll sell, some eh things, but then like a few bolos. So I'd say that's a good box. Thanks for sticking with me and watching this video. Leave me a comment, make sure you're subscribed and like and do all those things and I'll see you soon. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. Bye bye, bye bye, bye. See you soon guys, thanks for watching, bye. Let's get this baby. I'm gonna have box flap issues, I always do. I showed you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. Um, yes. No, 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 no. Do I have weird hairs? I sometimes have hair. Um, but I think it depends on the piece. Like it's smart to know what to pick up. I have some videos on that. Do I? Maybe, I don't know. That's expensive. So, so far, so God, there's always hair everywhere. Like it's like, I just have hair everywhere. I don't know what to do about it. I'm just going to sell it. What the heck? So I swill <sighs> problems. A picture what if I do this then this one will be in the picture it's impossible I don't know what to do about that though let me just yeah okay Ooh. I'm like familiar with the keywords I usually get really awesome boxes but this is not from my usual Arizona location so